The Indian antelope or the black buck is a living example of the role of local communities and individuals in conservation. The black buck was the animal most hunted during the last three centuries. It has been mercilessly killed for its flesh and its skin. This is the story of the Tal Chapar Wildlife Sanctuary, one of the last refuge of the black bucks, which has remained a strong foothold of this unique antelope of India. We start this epic journey from the pink city of India, Jaipur, from where the sanctuary is 210 km away. The sanctuary is connected by a very good roads. Open grasslands with fresh green grass come into view and herds of cattle can be seen feasting on this irresistible feast. The sanctuary is located on the edge of the great Indian Thar Desert. Consequently, when compared with the surrounding areas, the flora and fauna undergo a dramatic change. The ship of the desert, the camel, in this part of the world where water is so scarce, only extremely well adapted species like the camel can survive and it has also been a source of transportation for the rural areas. Just a little further and we reach the Tal Chapar Wildlife Sanctuary in the district Churu. The word Tal means plain flatland and Chapar is the village near the sanctuary. The sanctuary has a unique ecosystem typical of a grassland. A vast open land with scattered acacia and prosopis trees strike a resemblance with the African savanna. Over a small area of 7.2 square kilometer houses a good population of black bugs. It is very easy to encounter as many as 500 to 700 antelopes in a single herd. The leadership of such a large herd is vested in an old and vigilant female. The groups may be all female or mixed such as this one here. The black buck is the main herbivore of this forest. Also known locally as the Krishnamrik, black bucks are animals of extraordinary splendor. Male black bucks have beautiful long ringed spiral horns with 3 to 4 turns reaching up to about 28 inches in length. The upper body of the mature male has black fur on the rump and white fur on the chest belly, chin and the inner side of the legs. They are born light brown but turn black after about 3 years. The young male black bucks join bachelor groups when they are between 6 months and 1 year of age due to harassment by territorial males. The primary diet of the black bucks consists of the grasses and grasses are in plenty in the Tal Chapar. Many experts believe that more than 40 different varieties of grass such as the moat, lumpra, dhaman etc are found on this land. A particularly special type of grass found here is the motia, the seeds of which have a very sweet taste. The antelopes love this grass and can be sometimes seen digging it from the earth. The bewildering floral diversity makes the land a paradise for the black bucks. There's another side to this beautiful ecosystem too, the migratory birds from Europe and Central Asia. This raptor here is the Eurasian Marsh Harrier. Adult males characterized by the grey wing patch such as this one are rarer than the females. The harriers have a characteristic low quartering flight. The harriers are very common winter visitors in these lowlands and can be seen catching hold of small water birds, reptiles and amphibians with the long yellow legs. It's late afternoon. With plenty of grass around them, the black bucks spend most of the daytime grazing. The herds usually have a dominant male, which commands control over its territory. The 
adult dominant males have fixed earmarked places which are used for excretion called the dung pile sites which are religiously maintained. Many experts believe that these antelopes use scent marking from two glands, the preorbital gland and the scent gland in the hoof. It's quite difficult to spot these extremely well camouflaged animals concealed in the grass. It must have been very difficult indeed for the now extinct Asiatic cheetah, the then chief predator of the black bucks, to spot them in the hiding grass. Come evening and the black bucks, particularly the young, engage themselves in fun play. Jumping and leaping high into the air form a favorite exercise, but with too few predators around, the high jumps have little advantages, apart from, of course, being fun games. An inquisitive female approaches our vehicle to know what's inside. The locals fondly call her Menka. Minka loves the biscuits which the rangers sometimes feed her. She has extremely beautiful eyes, complete with wonderful white surrounding rings. She smells the interior, her sensitive nose registers every single detail. Female blackbirds reach sexual maturity between the ages of 19 to 23 months while the males attain maturity in about 3 years. During the mating season, the males can be seen holding their nose up while placing their horns parallel to their back to attract the females. The black buck territories are reproductive territories and it is best for the males to occupy a flat, open grass area which the females prefer. In areas such as these, the black buck's primary food, the grasses, grow in the greatest abundance and this is where a buck has the best chance for coming in proximity with the largest number of females in the shortest time. During the mating season, male black bucks are known to fight furious horning battles which usually end with the death of the losing participant. A young male, only partially black, walks majestically with an interesting curl in its tail. While it is busy in its leisurely walk, a very young male suddenly appears in its front, exhibiting its high jumping skills. The action occurs at lightning speed, slowing down this action reveals the full detail. The black buck springs up very high in the air, making this great act an awe-inspiring drama of nature, one which leaves the observers mesmerized. The use of such energy-intensive tasks might seem rather small, but actually, apart from being a means to keep the body physically fit, these high jumps were lifesavers when the buck's predators were many. On such vast open plains, Black buck is one of the fastest animals which can outrun most of the predators over long runs. When the sun shines down upon this open grassland, the golden brown fur casts a heavenly glow. With such an immense variety of grass around, there is bound to be an enormous diversity of insects. The grasshoppers, characterized by their antennae which are shorter than their body, many of their species are found in the Tal Chapar sanctuary. These grasshoppers feed upon the leaves,
grasses and the cereal crops. Rubbing the hind femur against the forewings, they make easily heard noises. It is believed that only one in several thousand grasshopper species will eat only a single species of plant. The others eat from plants of multiple species. Every site you turn to is majestic and unique in the Tal Chapar. An Indian roller or blue jay. This is a large headed dark pink bird with extremely bright wings in two shades of blue. The black drongo with its characteristic white spot at the base of its bill. A bee eater. Absence of the elongated tail feathers indicates this is probably a juvenile bird. Another enchanting sight, three different species of birds in a close single frame proximity. It is hard to believe that this prosperous grassland was once invaded by the weed Prosopis juliflora seen here. Thanks to the efforts of the forest department, the grasslands have now regained their once lost splendor. Though the black buck is the center of attraction in the Tal Chapar, another antelope found here is the blue bull, locally called Nilgai. This is the biggest Asian antelope, standing tall at about 1.5 meter at the shoulder. The black bucks usually keep away from the much larger Nilgai. When there's so much to be seen above the ground, there's a secretive hidden world beneath, waiting to be discovered. The foxes create a complex network of deep caves underground spread across several meters. The main entrance of the burrow leads us downwards and broadens into a den from which several side tunnels branch, leading us to a dark, hidden world. As the night gives way to a new morning sun, the grasslands flooded with sunlight reveal their rich colors. The arrival of the day marks a new beginning for the black bucks. The black buck, once critically endangered, has been brought back from extinction. Year after year, centuries after centuries, the generations would find it hard to recognize the contribution of local communities like the Bishnoi tribe, who left no stone unturned to revive this magnificent lost animal of the Indian grasslands of the Tal Chapar. The black bugs are a living example of the role of communities and individuals in conservation.